Hi everyone, I'm interior designer Mary McDonald and today I'm going to show you my high point. And first off, I'd like to go to the Chattuck showroom where I happen to have a line of furniture. So one of the pieces that I'm always inspired by is my Demetria chaise. Um, I love the line of it and the Greco-Roman influence and I've done it in this sort of dappled gray oak finish which is actually so, it's kind of so hot right now except it's pretty classic, and that's what I love about this entire space that I've created. Another one of the pieces that I really love because of its jewelry-like effect is my Josephine cabinet. I personally like this dark espresso stain with the red inside because I think it's kind of glamorous and dramatic, but if you notice all the custom cast brass, it really gives a room a certain elegance not to mention my new coffee table, uh, which is pretty mid-century inspired by the glamour and the time of the Duchess of Windsor with the brass detailing. Here we are at Janice AC, and she is known for such amazing outdoor furniture. And this is one of my new favorite pieces that she's designed with Orlando Diaz as part of her Master's Aluminum series. If you'll notice, the leg down here has sort of a Clismos reference. It's got the plinths on the top, sort of a Louis Seize reference with all the fluting, and it's got the trellis back. So it has this beautiful medley of different elements that are put together so elegantly and simplistically, but it's interesting when you start to look at it. Another one of my favorite things here is this sketch chair. They're super lightweight. They're made of polypropylene. It kind of adds a little pizzazz anywhere you need outdoor and it's not a big deal. You can kind of move them around, stack them, you can have them as extra chairs. I, I actually think it's great. I'm gonna let you in on one of the great kept secrets, which is no longer gonna be a secret here at High Point, and it's Randall Tysinger. He has one of the most extensive collections that is constantly changing of antiques, mid-century, modern, all of it together in this amazing warehouse. For example, right here, we've got this amazing French maple burl coffee table with this brass inlay here, the brass legs, it's from the 60s, and it's paired here with the Italian lacquer, very sort of modern set, and juxtaposed to that great mid-century set, he has a huge range of things that are classically based, for example, this 1920s Italian marble top table with this beautiful classic patterning that's also sort of edgy and hip now, to this pair of amazing and kind of unusual 19th century Italian cherry wood chess. I mean, the size and the scale of these and the fact that there's a pair with this extra thick marble top is somewhat unusual. And he's got tons of stuff that's like this that you don't really find in your local antique shop. So this is what I love about it here. Every corner is a find. And here's Randall himself. How are you? Good. So here we are at another one of my favorite spots. It's called Modern History, and it's exactly that. It's modernized versions of historical pieces. For example, this neoclassical chest that's been painted, but it, it's cleaner, it's a little more spare, and the two tones of the gray and the white just make it a little more cleaner and useful for today. And then they also have tables like this uh, that are mid-century inspired, so it adds a little bit of hipness to whatever you're working on, or your shop, or your design job. The brass, the tapered mid-century leg with a little bit of the brass tip on the bottom. They have kind of the perfect mix of history and things that are modern and hip, thus modern history. So thanks for joining me. This was my High Point Market, and I hope you had a good time and you got some design tips.